Hello children today we are going to learn new chapter in science that is about electric current and its effects Electricity is an integral part of our life Electricity is used to run various electronic devices for example room heater TV refrigerator computer etc so we know that without electricity modern life is very difficult to survive yes so electricity plays an important role in our daily life when you feel hot in summers you switch on the fan and the fan starts moving isn't it children have you ever thought that how a fan which is at the distance of about 8 to 10 feet from the switch starts moving as soon as you turn on the switch in the same way we can also observe if you turn off the switch the fan stops after some time isn't it children the power that makes the fan move is the electric charge so what is mean by electric charge the power that makes the fan to rotate or fan to work is the electric charge now in this lesson let us learn briefly about electric current and its effects so as i have already told what is mean by electric charge the power which makes the electronic devices to work is the electric charge and the flow of electric charge is called as electric current okay so what is mean by electric current the flow of electric charge is called as electric current and the path through which it moves is called as electric circuit the path through which the electric charge flows is called as electric circuit the si unit of measuring electric current is called as ampere okay so what is the si unit of measuring electric current ampere understand children so what is mean by electric current the flow of electric charge is called electric current and the path through which the electric charge flows is called as electric circuit is a unit of measuring electric current is called ampere now electric current flows only if there is a source or a conductor or an unbroken or closed path here you can see the diagram of electric circuit so if the uh, circuit or if the switch is on then we will say that it is a closed path or it is a unbroken path okay so electric current will flows only if there is an unbroken or closed path when the path breaks the current stops flowing through it okay so electric circuit is the path that allows the charges to travel the charges will flow from negative terminal to the positive terminal of the cell okay so charge will flow from negative terminal to the positive terminal of the cell okay here the cell is the source of electric charge when the switch is turned on the charge starts flowing through the circuit the flow of these charges is called as electric current okay so electric current will flows from positive terminal to the negative terminal of the cell understand children so the charge will flow from negative terminal to the positive terminal of the battery or of the cell and the 
electric current will be opposite to the direction of the electric charge that is it flows from positive terminal to the negative terminal of the cell now let's see about some of the components of a circuit and their symbol so here you can see in this diagram the components which we will mention in the electric circuit using certain symbols so the electric cell to to represent electric cell we are using this symbol okay then you can see electric bulb so electric bulb can be represented by using this symbol then switch if it is in on position it can be represented by using this symbol then switch if it is off then it can be represented in electric circuit diagram using this symbol then battery to represent battery we are using this symbol and wire to uh, to represent the connecting wires we are using this this symbols okay so these are some of the symbols which we will use when we are drawing electric circuit now let's see about the components first is about cell cell it is a device that is used as a source of electric current okay so cell i as i have already told that cell is a source of electric current okay it will allow the flow of charge from negative terminal to positive terminal so here cell is the source of electric current it is a device which is used as a source of electric current cell has a positive terminal and negative terminal so there are two terminals we can see in the cell that is positive terminal and negative terminal the long uh, thin line in the symbol of a cell represents the positive terminal so you can see in the diagram which i have showed so this long thin line which represent the positive terminal and small thick line it will represent the negative terminal of the cell now let's see about switch switch is a device which is op which is used to open and close an electric circuit okay a switch is a device which is used to open and close an electric circuit switch also has two terminals to which the wires are connected okay so here i have already explained in the circuit diagram when the switch is on the when the switch is on the electric circuit is said to be complete okay and the bulb glows the bulb glows okay when the switch is off when the switch is off the electric circuit is incomplete and the bulb does not glow understand children now let's uh, see about next component that is battery battery is a device which is used to run a number of device in our daily life like like tv remote torch transistor radio watch etc okay so it is a device which is used to run a number of devices in our daily life okay now uh, in uh, in many electronic devices we can see more than one cell is used okay we can see more than one cell so a combination of a combination of cell is called battery okay so what is meant by battery a uh, combination of cell many cells they will use together in electronic device so when we are combining group of cells it is called as battery 
in a battery the negative terminal of one cell so here in the diagram itself you can see the negative terminal of the one cell will be connected to the positive terminal of nest cell and again the negative terminal will be connected to the positive terminal of other cell you must have seen in toys or tv remote that there is a battery component yes in a battery compartment you can see two sign that is plus and minus or printed to help a person to place the cells correctly okay then batteries used in cars inverters have a number of cells that are rechargeable and are very expensive so you know in our vehicle or in car and inverters we are using inverters in our home which contain batteries with this batteries have a number of cells which are rechargeable and are expensive understand children now let's move to another topic that is about conductors insulators resistance so what is mean by conductors substances which allow electric current to pass through them are called as conductors okay so what is meant by conductors substances which allow electric current to pass through them is called as conductors so you know we are having different substances we are using different things in our daily life some substance will allow electric current to pass through it some they do not allow the current to pass through it okay so based on that we are classifying the substance into two they are conductors and insulators so what is meant by conductors substances which allow electric current to pass through them are called as conductors example metals so in metals electric current can be easily passed through then next we can see what is meant by insulators insulators means or the substances that do not allow electric current to pass through them okay so insulators or the substances which do not allow electric current to pass through them example for insulators are wood plastic distilled water okay so what are the examples of insulators wood plastic distilled water etc okay so these substances will not allow electric current to pass through them and they are called as insulators okay insulators help us uh, help us to um, uh, protect us from getting an electric shock okay so every substance they has a tendency to oppose the flow of current passing through it okay so all the substance they have the capacity to oppose to oppose means uh, to act against the flow of current passing through it the property of materials to oppose the flow of electric current is called as resistance okay so what is mean by resistance the property of a materials to oppose the flow of electric current so every material any material they have the a tendency to oppose the flow of current and the property of material to oppose the flow of current is called as resistance understand children lower the resistance of an object greater is the current that flow through it if the resistance of the material is less then large amount of current can be passed through it thus conductors conductors they have very little resistance comparing to insulators okay so that they will allow the flow of electric current but insulators they have high resistance they do not allow the electric current to pass through they will oppose the flow of electric current they will not allow the electric current to pass through okay then the unit of resistance is ohm okay ohm that is ohm the si unit of resistance is ohm now let's learn about heating effect of electric current when electricity is passed through a high resistance wires so i said already 
based on the tendency to oppose the electric current we can tell we can uh, we can determine the resistance of the material yes so when electric current is passed through a high resistance wire so high resistance wire which can oppose the large amount of electricity so high resistance wire like nichrome or copper the electrical energy gets converted into heat energy which heat up the wire which is called as heating effect of electric current okay so when electricity is passed through a high resistance wires like nichrome or copper the electrical energy gets converted to heat energy which will heat up the wire which is called as heating effect of electric current so this heating effect of electric current is used in the many electrical appliances so let us see about the applications of heating effect of electric current so first is electric iron electric room heater emission rod then electric toaster which we are using in our daily life it's worth based on the principle of heating effect of electric current okay so all these electronic items they have a coil of high resistance wire okay so um, do you know uh, every electronic items they contain a coil okay so this coil is made up of high resistance wire called heating element which is made up of nichrome okay so already i have said that nichrome is a high resistance wire which can tolerate or which can oppose the large amount of electricity flows through it okay so all the electronic items they have a coil which has a high resistance wire which is made up of nichrome so nichrome what is mean by nichrome it is an alloy of nickel chromium and iron what is mean by alloy alloy means mixture of two or more metals okay so when we are combining three metals such as nickel chromium and iron which will form the wire called nichrome okay so nichrome is a high resistance wire which is used as a heating element in every electronic items so when electric current is passed through such electric appliances the heating element becomes red hot and produces heat okay so electrical energy gets converted into heat energy which makes the electric iron electric room heater or um, emission rod or electric toaster to work okay children now let's learn about the heating effect of current how it is used in the electric bulb you know we are all using electric bulb in our house isn't it children so the electric bulb in electric bulb also works on the principle of heating effect of current the electric bulb which is used for producing light also experiences heating effect of current so very inside an electric bulb there is a high resistance filament you know here you can see in the picture this is an electric bulb inside that there will be a filament okay so the electric bulb filament is made up of made up of one metal called tungsten metal okay so the filament is made up of tungsten metal so which is the metal makes filament of an electric bulb tungsten okay so filament of electric bulb is made up of tungsten metal and when electric current passes through this tungsten filament it starts emitting light and gets heated so we, the bulb will glows okay so electric bulb not only produces light it also gives out heat this leads to the wastage of electricity 
so hence electric bulbs are not power efficient source of light okay so when there is a when the electric bulb glows not only it produces light it also gives out heat which leads to wastage of electricity okay so in order to save the electricity nowadays we are using some other source that is like cf cfl bulbs okay now let's see about that so cfl bulbs it helps to prevent wastage of electricity wastage of electricity can be reduced by using fluorescent tube lights and combat fluorescent lamps what is the full form of cfl combat fluorescent lamps instead of electric bulb so as i have already told electric bulbs when it glows it will waste large amount of heat which leads to the wastage of electricity so in order to prevent wastage of electricity nowadays we are using combat fluorescent lamps that is cfl bulbs which which do not work on the principle of heating effect of electric current because they do not have filaments okay and the cfls can be fixed in ordinary bulb holders which we are using to fix electric bulb okay and the cost of cfl and fluorescent tube light is less uh, less and they will consume less electricity and they are low they are uh, long lasting or they will last longer so before buying an electrical appliance you have to look for the isa mark isa mark means indian standards institute mark and this mark will help us to use the electronic items safe to use and wastage of energy can be uh, and be minimized okay children so uh, to prevent wastage of electricity nowadays we are using cfl cfl means combat fluorescent lamps understand children now let's learn about short circuit and overloading so sometimes there will be an excess of electric current passes through a circuit which will cause damages to electrical appliance it can also cause fire okay so that is called short circuit so excess flow of current occurs in two cases that is one when there is a short circuit or when there is a overloading okay so how it is what is meant by short circuit so in electric circuit there are three wires live wire neutral wire and earth wire so what are the three wire present in the electric circuit live wire neutral wire earth wire okay so due to defective or damaged wiring okay so any defects are there or if wire get damaged so there are three wire in the electric circuit that is live wire neutral wire earth wire and when there is a, any defect any problem or any uh, damage in the wire it will make the live wire and neutral wire to touch each other okay when this live wire and neutral wire touch each other the resistance of the circuit becomes zero and large amount of current flows through it which causes a short circuit so short circuit may lead to electric fires okay children so when there is any defect or any problem or any damages in the wiring live wire and neutral wire will touch each other so when these two wires touch each other the resistance of electric circuit becomes zero and large amount of current flows through it which causes a short circuit short circuit leads to electric fires then what is meant by overloading overloading means if large amount of current is drawn when many electrical devices are connected to a single socket so in our home itself we can see sometimes in our home 
or many for example fridge washing machine iron box geyser then toaster then inductive stove everything is working together means there will be a what overloading there will be an excess flow of current through the circuit which leads to the over overheating and causes electric fire okay so this is called overloading so overloading means when large amount of current is drawn when too many electrical devices are connected to a single socket this is called overloading of electrical circuit which can lead to overheating and cause electric fire understand children so i hope that you all understand about the electric effect of sorry heating effect of electric current if you have any doubt you can ask thank you children